Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is the day before St. Patrick's Day, and I thought, you know, this would be a great day to try out a sandwich of recent history, one that my friend Billy Zurichat, or AKA the real Billy Z, made. It's Billy's Irish Philly. It's kind of a mashup between a corned beef sandwich and a Philly G steak. Okay, first thing we have to do is uh, coat three and a half cups of shredded Irish cheddar cheese with uh, cornstarch. Now to a saucepan, we add one can of evaporated milk. No, not sweetened condensed milk and a half a cup of Guinness, and bring that to a simmer. Okay, now we add the coated shredded cheese a little bit at a time until it's all melted. Now we add in a cup of cheese whiz, oh yeah. Now we season with salt, mustard powder, garlic powder, and a pinch of white pepper. Now we set that aside. Now we saute a quarter of a white onion in some olive oil and a little salt for about hmm, five minutes or so. Now we fry up some corned beef. I bought this at the store. Did not make it myself, sorry. Let that fry up for about a minute. All right, now we start breaking this apart. And mixing it in with the onions. The wooden utensil wasn't doing it, so I pulled it off because uh, I don't like using metal utensils in this pan and, uh, you know, chopped it up with a knife. All right, so now let's get the onions mixed in. Now he says to add a few tablespoons of that cheese whiz cheese sauce we made and put our roll on top of it to steam for about 30 seconds. All right, now we just sort of scoop it up, hopefully. Yeah, mostly. All right, now we drizzle with a little bit more of that cheese sauce and some sauerkraut. Okay, let's give Billy's Irish Philly a go. That is pretty tasty. The corned beef got a little caramelization on it. Uh, you've got that cheese sauce. It's almost like a rarebit sauce. There's a bit of a tang to it. Going really well with the corned beef. Going really well with the sauerkraut. This is good. I do want to plus it up though. I'm gonna add some sweet cherry peppers. Okay, let's give this Billy's Irish Philly plus up with cherry peppers a go. Adds a little sweetness to it and a little fresh uh, crunch in addition to the uh, Sauerkraut, of course. Well, I gotta say, the original Billy's Irish Philly was pretty tasty there with the caramelized, uh, you know, corned beef and the sauerkraut uh, and the cheese whiz, Guinness cheese whiz sauce. That was pretty tasty. I'm gonna give that a nine. Plus, up with the uh, cherry peppers, probably nine and a half. It was a tasty little addition. Uh, thanks, Billy, for sharing it with me. Go follow Billy, the real Billy Z, on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Yeah, I'm gonna finish that, and uh, I've got cheese sauce left over, so I might make another. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow.